brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Hey, I was just trying to see if you guys could help me undo the mess that I'm in. I don't know if I'm cursed or what, but I'm in a lot of debt and I'm a single mom and uh, I'm be close to retirement age shortly. And I just, I, I don't know what to do. Okay. How old are you? I'm 46. Okay. And what's going on? Tell us some more details. Okay. So last year, my goal was to own a home and I know about debt to income ratio and my highest debt would, would have been my car note, which was 772. Long story short with that, I ended up making a bad deal, end up at 615 still, but no gap insurance. Um, since then, the job that I had, I have now lost. I have a new job, but it's $3,800 less. That's a lot. Um, it is. Per month uh, and less? It, it, yes. And I'm struggling right now. I'm close to eviction. I'm about to, I'm close to about to lose my car. So tell me, um, I, tell me what you're making now. I'm I'm averaging about twelve to fourteen hundred a month, barely making it. Oh man, yeah, okay, twelve to fourteen hundred. Tell us what your rent is. My rent right now is nine eighty, but it's behind, and I'm close to eviction, so it's it's about twenty seven hundred plus a three fifty fee yeah, for okay. their attorney fees. It's crazy. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a barber. And before that, when you were making the 3800 more, what were you doing? I was still a barber. I was working at another um, barber shop and I was let go. What was the difference? Is it just the way that they do it and they weren't, the old place was sending more clients your way? Tell us. Mm -hmm. I had, yeah, I had more clients. I was still on the low end. Um, I was still on the low end, but I was still making, I was making weekly pay. This is only every two weeks and I'm averaging about 500 every two weeks or a little over. And is it Not just a, a salary you get or is it based on the number of heads you do? It's, so it's basically 50% 50, 50 commission or $12 an hour, whichever the greater of the two. Okay. So yeah. Okay. The, the problem, the glaring issue here is the income. Um, and this can't go mm -hmm. on um, no. because my, my thought here is, if it's 50% commission or your your base pay, then that means you're not making the commission, which means there's not enough people coming through, which means essentially, right. essentially you're kind of standing there like waiting for something to do, right? Are you spending a lot of your day right. kind of standing around waiting? Right. So yeah. what I did was what I was doing the first, when I first started there, I was like, this makes no sense. I can do lift rods, right? Yeah. To make up the short. But now my car is breaking down and it's still not enough. Lift, lift rods sometimes are not as great as it was when I started. Right. Um, so it, so it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's not coming in. I tried to get an, uh, been applying for other jobs. Like what? Nothing is coming through. Like I'm great at customer service and things like that. I love barbering. Okay. But, um, I, I really do love it, but I was trying to get an additional job, like work at Amazon at night and it's yeah. hard to work at Amazon at night. See, six years ago, I lost one of my kids. Oh. And my other children were there. And so what's happening is I have to kind of be at home with my younger daughter because she's feeling the repercussions of oh, all of that. Yeah. She's got a lot of mental issues, you know, going on, uh -huh. trauma stuff we've got uh. we've gone through. So I can't really leave her Here's at what night I and it's hard. And that's the other reason why I've also lost jobs because... I have to stop and go to school and it's heartbreaking. I really wish that I could get a job that was financially stable where I could be at my child's disposal. Yeah. You know, I just put one through college. Mm -hmm. I just dropped her off at MTSU and thank God she had a lot of scholarships, but I still have to pay a small amount for the next three months. That's right. I don't know where it's going to come from. So, well, let's, I, let's look I, at this. Let's look something. at this. Okay. You love barbering, okay. but right now barbering's not making you money. Um, and for right. sure, for certain, I feel like you could go on it. What do you do? Are you a braider? Do you do so and what do you do? No, I don't, I don't do that part anymore. I can do women's hair, but I, I love, I love cutting men's hair. Oh, okay. Like okay. It. Okay. So here's the thing. I think barbering goes on the shelf for now because it's not making you money. Maybe you do it on the side and that's your side hustle but it's not okay. your main core income right now. Um, 
I want you to get a full-time day job. Go over to Target, go over to Walmart, go over to Wendy's, go over to Chick-fil-A, anything today. Because you got to make a little bit more than what you're making now and then make barbering the thing that you do on the side mm -hmm. on the weekends, early in the morning, um, if night times don't work for you. that That's the only okay. way. Here's the thing. The good news is you were earning a salary that was making your life run and making your household run. So you know you can do it. It's just a matter of right. filling in the puzzle to make sure that we're putting the right pieces in to get that income. Um, right. Let's talk about the car. So the car is not running. That's the only vehicle, correct? Yeah, it's running, but it's, it needs work. Okay, how, what so. what year is it and what's it worth? And what do you it's owe on 20, it? it um, it's a 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan. Ugh, Volkswagen. Uh, I owe about 29,000 since it went up. I was at 26, but since I refinanced, it's back up to 29. Oh gosh. Okay. And what's it worth? Nothing. Probably not right now. Okay. I want you to go. Your homework is to go on Kelly blue book and see what is it worth private sale. You're probably going to be upside down in it. Um, possibly substantially. Yeah. Cause I don't know what all you've done with this thing. Um, but we may need to get out of this vehicle because it's costing you what six hundred dollars a month. It's it's costing me six fifteen a month. Yes, oh ma'am. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to sell this car eventually, and probably what you're gonna end up doing, um, Kenna, if you have a minute, if you look this thing up, maybe you can t give me a, a ballpark on it. But by the time we get off this call, maybe we can give you a ballpark on it. But if I were okay. you to get out of that thirty thousand, what other debt do you have? I have a eight thousand dollar signature loan. Okay. Um, I have some student loans, uh, which I gotta try to figure out how to get back because I was in a settlement, and for some reason, just tell me, just tell me how much they are for the sake of the call. It's like six thousand, sixty thousand dollars. Sixty thousand. Back on. Yes, it's sixty k. Okay, and they're federal. And it's not supposed to be on there. They're federal. Uh, they're federal loans. Yeah, it was. It was a uh, one in a settlement that they were supposed to take that off oh because the in institution is not is no longer with it, us it is not they've come back but it's gone through a lot of stuff uh they, they've been in the news and everything how much of the 60k is that settlement um all of it all of it Okay, so yeah. you're going to have to do some due diligence on that and figure out what's going on with that uh, because 60000 okay. is not a lot that you want to lollygag with. Okay, what else? Is there no. anything besides that? Um, no, just a $400 credit card that I, that I was paying. Right, so okay. on. this is an income Other issue. That, nothing. Um, and by the way, yeah. we're running short on time. Let's get her a session okay, with one fine. of our financial coaches as our gift because there's a lot to to yeah. layer through here. But uh, yeah. Nicole, you, you have got to come up with a situation with your daughter, friends and family. This is, it takes a village. Mm -hmm. I'm not betting yeah. against a single mama. I know you can yeah. find a way to get some care it's, for your it's daughter. Hard. It's hard. It's I know, really hard. I know it is sweetheart. And, but I'm telling you, I'm not betting against you, but you've got to get some help with your daughter. She's been through a lot. You've got to get some people around you who can be with her. When We're she, in therapy, but it's not a lot. I mean, it's not a lot of help. I just... I know, but listen, I'm talking about people around you in your community. Okay. You have got to say, I need some help because you've got an income issue. And the more you work, if you were to get back up to $3,800 a month, Jade, she can work her way out of this. 100%. And so, Nicole, all I'm saying is we're going to get you with one of our financial coaches who's going to okay. spend more time with you. Yeah. But listen, okay. you've got to get more income. Mm -hmm. And Today. you've got to get a community around you who say, you say, look, I need help with my daughter who's still going through this trauma over here. I need some support because I'm mama bear and I got to go make some money. And the more money I make with our financial coach, and, and we're going to give you all the resources, by the way. So, Christian, okay. if she needs total money makeover, uh, every everything. dollar, give her everything. Give her everything we got. Christian's and, going to take great and care listen, of you. And listen, if you don't, you. It, it, I don't know if you go to church or not. I want you stepping foot inside of a church this Sunday. I don't care what you believe. You need people around you who want to help you and love on you, and they will do just that. Yeah. We're going to walk with you, Nicole. You're not on your own, but go get some income. And watch this thing turn around. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.